we have to find the value of integral square root of x square minus a square dx. Note that this integral is not in an integrable form. That is, x square minus a square is not in an integrable form. So, at first we have to make it as an integrable function. The method we are using here to make it as an integrable function is the substitution method. That is, we are taking x equal to a c theta. On differentiating with respect to theta, we will get dx by d theta equal to a c theta tan theta and dx equal to a c theta tan theta t theta. Okay. Now we are substituting these values here. Then we will get x equal to a sec theta then x square is a square sec square theta that is x is a sec theta x square is a square sec square theta minus a square into dx is a sec theta tan theta d theta okay so why we are taking x as a sec theta is because if we take a square outside we will get sec square theta minus 1. What is sec square theta minus 1 tan square theta? So we can take a square tan square theta outside the square root and we will get a square tan square theta as a tan theta. That is, we get our terms outside the square root on substituting x equal to a sec theta. Now we get a tan theta into a sec theta tan theta d theta. Then a into a will gives a square. Tan theta into tan theta will gives tan square theta into sec theta d theta. Okay. So we change our integral, integral in the form of a square tan square theta sec theta d theta on substitution. Next, we have to find value of this integral. In order to find value of this integral, we are taking i equal to integral of tan square theta sec theta d theta. Okay. Now, what is tan square theta sec square theta minus 1? We are changing tan square theta as sec square theta minus 1 into sec theta d theta. Now, sec theta into sec square theta will give c cube theta minus sec theta d theta. Next, we have to find the value of integral separately here. That is integral of c cube theta d theta minus integral of sec theta d theta. So, in order to find the value of c cube theta, we are changing it as sec theta into sec square theta d theta. So that is we are using here integration by parts method here that is we are taking u as sec theta v as sec square theta to perform integration by parts method. Now then we will find the value of c cube theta minus integral of sec theta d theta. This is in the directly integrable form. So we have to worry about this part. Now what is integration? by parts method u into integral of v that is u is sec theta into integral of v is tan theta that is integral of sec square theta is tan theta minus derivative of u that is derivative of sec theta that is sec theta tan theta into integral of v that is tan theta again into d theta. This is the integ integration by parts method. Then what is integral of sec theta d theta? That is minus log mod sec theta plus tan theta plus c. This is by the formulae of sec theta. Now, so we have performed integration by parts method here. Once again, what is integration by parts? u into integral of v minus integral of derivative of u into integral of v whole integral d theta okay then what is the c theta into tan square theta d theta what is six c theta into tan square theta d theta that is our i In the next step we will take this i to the left hand side then we will get 
minus i if you take to left hand side we will get plus i that is i plus i gives 2i 2i equal to sec theta tan theta minus log mod sec theta plus tan theta plus c okay then what is i 2i is this quantity then i equal to half of this quantity that is we are taking this 2 to the right hand side then it will become 1 by 2 that is 1 by 2 into sec theta tan theta minus log mod sec theta plus tan theta plus c this is the value of this integral that is integral tan square theta sec theta d theta next we get the value of this integral that is square root of x square minus a square dx equal to a square into this i value but what is x square minus a square which is in terms of x so we have to change this i also in terms of x okay for that let us check what is sec theta in terms of x that is sec theta equal to x by a that is x equal to a sec theta then sec theta equal to x by a then what about tan theta in order to find value of tan theta what we are rearranging here is we are going to find tan square theta here that is what is tan square theta sec square theta minus 1 sec square theta is x square by a square minus 1 on taking LCM we will get x square minus a square whole divided by a square okay then what is tan theta then square root of this term tan square theta is x square minus a square whole divided by a square then tan square theta is square root of this term that is square root of x square minus a square divided by square root of a square that is a so this is the value of sec theta tan theta so we get the value of sec theta and tan theta here next we have to substitute these values in the equation to get the final result that is integral of square root of x square minus a square dx equal to a square by 2 that is a square this a square then this 1 by 2 is taken here as a square by 2 that is a square into i is the, is the final result of the value of this integral then a square into i will give a square by 2 here now what is sec theta that is x by a what is tan theta square root of x square minus a square whole divided by a minus log mod sec theta that is x by a then tan theta that is square root of x square minus a square by a plus c okay now in the next step we are taking a square by 2 inside of this equation then a square by 2 into x into square root of x square minus a square will give x by 2 that is this a square and this a square that is a into a a square get cancel each other then what will remain here x by 2 minus a square by 2 into log of x plus square root of x square minus a square now what is this log a that is we have here x plus square root of x square minus a square whole divided by a and we know that log a by b is log a minus log b okay log a by b is log a minus log b now this a is turned into minus log a multiplied with a square by 2 that is a square by 2 log a plus c so what is this a square by 2 log a which is a constant now we can take these two constant constants together and we will get a whole constant c instead of this term so what is our final result x by 2 into square root of x square minus a square minus a square by 2 into log mod 
x plus square root of x square minus c square plus c that is this term will becomes a constant since this term is a constant we can change it as a whole constant here so this is our required result so what we have done here is we change x in terms of theta and we change x again in term sorry theta again in terms of x after finding the value of this integral okay